Hi there, Noah with the training department here. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of deposit rules, which includes establishing the deposit due at checkout, as well as the minimum order requirement. In other words, what's the smallest order you'll allow somebody to check out on your website with? And also the deposit phrase that shows up on the checkout screen. So let's get started at admin, rules, general rule sets, and let's click into deposit rules. Now in this video, we're going to cover a flat deposit that applies to all orders across the board. The system does support various different kinds of deposit rules. For example, you can have different deposits required for different subtotals, and or you can have different deposits due depending on what kind of inventory people have or don't have in their cart. So please feel free to do a search in the knowledge base using the keyword deposit to find the video that most closely corresponds to the kind of deposit rules that you'd like to establish if you'd like to have conditional deposit rules like I described. So in this folder, we can see that the deposit rules are set to require a flat $50 deposit for all orders. Now we could go in here and put a percent symbol after that, and that would make it so that 50% of the order total is required at checkout. The only other important thing to keep in mind here is that apply deposit override needs to remain in place here, and it needs to be below whatever deposit rule or rules you're using. So again, in this case, we just have the one deposit rule, set deposit to, but if we decided to add some more deposit rules in here, it would just be important for us to move them above the apply deposit override rule. The order of these rules makes a difference in terms of the way the system makes its calculations. So again, make sure to always leave that apply deposit override rule in place, and make sure it's always at the bottom of these rules. And by the way, what that apply deposit override rule does is it allows you and other administrative users of the system to override the deposit requirements when placing an order in the back end. So again, this folder was set to require a flat $50 deposit. I want to change that to 50%, and I've already added the percent symbol in the deposit amount field, so this is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and submit. So then I'm going to go to Admin Rules Availability Rule Sets, and I'm going to click into General Availability. We can see that we've got a $100 minimum order requirement. I'm going to update that to $250.01, and that is going to enable me to test some features here, and I'm actually going to base it on the subtotal. And if I felt like it, I could edit the message that shows up on the payment screen for the customers if their order subtotal is below the required minimum. Now the system does support multiple minimum order requirements. For example, if you'd like to have a minimum order requirement that specifically applies to orders that only contain a gift card, like maybe you sell $50 gift cards and you just throw it in the mail, so you're happy to let people check out with a $50 subtotal if they're just getting that gift card, the system does support that. So please feel free to visit the knowledge base and do a keyword search for minimum order if you'd like to watch a video on how to set up multiple minimum order requirements. And by the way, the system also has special functionality for gift cards. It's pretty darn cool. You actually don't even really need to mail people a physical gift card if you don't want to. So if you'd like to learn more about that, again, feel free to visit the knowledge base and do a keyword search for the words gift cards. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this, and then I'm going to click into scheduling to place a test order. Okay, so it looks like my enforce minimum order rule is applying, and we can see that our deposit rule is also working correctly, as 161.82 is half of 323.63. Now let's remember this order number, as it's going to come in handy later in this video. Now I'm also realizing, you know what, maybe I'd like to edit that minimum payment required language right there. So let's go ahead and click into Admin, Order Config, Miscellaneous Order Settings. And then scroll down about two-thirds of the way down to Phrase Deposit Required. And then I'm going to save my changes here. And then I'm going to click into the CRM. I'm going to do a search for that order number. Then I'm going to click into the order. And we can skip straight to the payment page, and we should see our new deposit phrase. Yep, there it is. So that's it for basic deposit rules. I hope this was helpful. Remember, anytime you're working in the system and you have questions, you can always visit the knowledge base and do a keyword search. And you can also visit the knowledge base by clicking on this little help icon right here. And of course, you can always reach the tech support department at 505-435-9731, extension 102, or support at eventrentalsystems.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.